A professional cyclist is looking for a new team to ride for. Today, Denver native Daniel Summerhill resigned from his team. It's the same day he had to go to court for allegedly shooting a gun in a neighborhood while on a training ride. Jeff Todd spoke with the witnesses and has the story from Jefferson County. Today, Summerhill pled not guilty at the Jefferson County Courthouse. When this incident happened, he was riding in Deer Creek Canyon, an area with some wildlife, but also with growing tensions between the residents who live there and the cyclists who use the road. What's still unclear is why he had a gun on him and why he allegedly decided to fire it while on a training ride. I was just sitting right here reading and saw him, you know, from this chair. Just seeing a cyclist reach for something out of their back and pull out, I was like, that's a gun. It was a warm day last February between these homes. It was five shots. Pro racer Danny Summerhill is accused of taking out a gun and firing along this stretch of road. It was very loud to the point where I stood up and I was like, what in the actual what is going on? Joe Porter's wife was out getting the mail on the road. It was just so, so reckless, so outlandish. Porter hopped in his car and chased the cyclist down. He said he wasn't aware it was a residential area, which was somewhat vexing. He said he had had a, a really rough day and needed to vent. Porter got home and realized the cycling jersey was unique, and then he recognized the rider. He was wearing the team uniform on their website. If he hadn't been, we probably wouldn't have found him. Jefferson County deputies only gave Summerhill a citation. Why do you have a gun on you when you're riding your bicycle? The fact that if he had hit my wife after 30 years of marriage and the impact it would have had on her, that's what sticks with me. That, that's, that's what's intolerable, the fact that, that he was that close. Some residents told us that they were a little upset that Summerhill wasn't cited with a more serious offense, potentially a felony, which then, if he was found guilty, would prohibit him from having a firearm in the future. He'll be back in court in July. In Jefferson County, Jeff Todd, CBS4 News. Thank you, Jeff.